Somebody did an experiment and planted two flowers on the same perimeters. She watered them every morning, manured them. But to one, she would speak negative words and say, this flower, I know you will amount to nothing. You're a useless flower. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time with you. But to the other one, she spoke the kindest of words. Oh, you're a beautiful flower. I know you're going to grow luxuriously and all of that. And after a while, she discovered that the flower that received water, manure, and negative words was stunted. But the one that received uh, water, manure, and positive words did better. It, it was an experiment done because there is power in words. Why do you think Jesus in Matthew 5 likened negative words to mother? Matthew 5, you have heard how it was said in the past, thou shalt not kill. But I say to you, anyone who is angry with his brother will, is liable to judgment. And then he said, anyone who calls his brother what? A fool. is liable to judgment. So what is Jesus saying? Those negative words are as dangerous, as lethal, that's killing. In fact, I think I need to read Matthew 12. If human words can be that impactful, how much more God's words? Look at Matthew chapter 12. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. Mm-hmm. Let me be sure that. Because this new face mask some people are wearing, this one that has glass, before long now they are going to put wiper on that thing. And people can actually be sleeping under it, you will not know. Matthew 12, verses 35, 36, and 37. Look at The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that men will have to give account on the day of judgment for every careless word they have spoken. Every careless word. Every negative word. He said, men, we give account. When the Bible says men, it's also talking about women. In fact, women, a man can speak, uh, let's say, 1,000 words in five hours. But it will take a woman less than a second, less than a second, to speak 10,000 words. If men will give account of every negative word, how much about your own is budget you will give on the final day. So it's everybody will give an account of every negative word on the day of judgment. And then verse 37 he says, For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. That is Jesus speaking. Matthew 12. 35, 36, 37. You go to Ephesians 4. St. Paul re echoes the same thing. Ephesians 4. He said, Do not use harmful words in talking. Use helpful words, the kind that build up anyone who is listening to you that edifies. And then he says, Do not make God's Holy Spirit sad. So I am like, it is like negative words make the Spirit of God sad. On no account. Because they are powerful. They have an effect on the person who is listening to you. On no account. So you have to be careful. Husbands. Ephesians 5. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and sanctified her with water and a form of words. Sanctified her. He's talking about baptism there. There is no sacrament of the church that has not the... um, the, the liturgy of the word. The word is powerful. The bread and wine is going to change to the body and blood of Christ by the priest just speaking the same words that Jesus used. Many marriages have died because of the negative words spoken by the husband and the wife. Some men, you will call your wife before everybody in the streets, prostitute. A man will open his mouth and call his wife a shower. Your children are hearing, your neighbors are hearing. And this Ashao, you were the one who was following her up and down. When she didn't want to give you her number, you were following her bomber to bomber. You didn't let her drink water and drop cup. She was not Ashao in her parents' house until she got married to you. 
Negative words. So you've just slaughtered. You have some men. You have cast away the good spirit that your wife came to the marriage with. Negative words. Something with women. Your own is even worse. Caustic tongue. Some women even think they will even say, "Father, it's, it's our right to talk." It's your right to talk, but not your right to do what? To speak negatively. There's something called freedom of speech. But freedom after speech, that one is no longer within your hand. So you must know what you say. You know, you, so you have killed your husband too with the things, insults. You call your husband a woman rapper. You open your mouth and call your husband a woman rapper. And sometimes we, we say these things without applying logic. Okay. Let's agree that your husband is a woman rapper. What are you? If your husband is a woman rapper and you are the wife, so what are you? You are Mrs. what? Mrs. Rapper. And see, even if your husband is a rapper, don't say it. What do you do with rapper? You tie it. Tie it anywhere you are going to. If even you are lucky as a woman to marry a woman rapper, <laughs> are you not lucky? That means you can tie the man anywhere you are going to. Abby. Take it. You should be grateful if you marry the woman rapper self. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.